Hello viewers, I'm Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSE Mark Straight Lines Exercise 10.2 Question number 14. Let's see the question. Find the equation of a line passing through 0, 2 making an angle 2 pi by 3 with a positive of x axis. Also find an equation of a parallel a line parallel to it and crossing y axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin. Let me draw a diagram so that you can easily understand. Here in the first, there we need to find two equation here, one equation here, one equation here. Let me draw a Cartesian plane. In that, I'll, I'll uh, find the equation of a line passing through 0, 2. 0, 2 will be here. If 2 is here, 0, 2 is here. So we want a line passing through it. We want the equation of this line which makes an angle 2 pi by 3 so this angle will be 2 pi by 3 on the positive this is the positive side of x-axis so positive side of x-axis it makes an angle and another another line which is parallel to it crossing y-axis at a distance of 2 units below 2 units below the origin that means this point is 0 comma minus 2 here which is parallel to this so we need to find the equation of this both the line. We, the, an angle is given. If an angle is given with the help of the angle we can find the slope of this line. We, we know that it is passing through 0, 2 and the slope of this line means we can form the equation of the line. The same way in the parallel line we know that the slope is same. So again the, we know the slope we know a passing point. So with a one point and a slope equation, we can form the equation of the two lines. So let me find the slope first. M is equal to tan theta. Here instead of theta, we have tan 2 pi by 3. Instead of pi, I am writing it to be 180 by 3. So here it becomes 60. So tan 120. Tan 120 is tan 90 plus 30. Tan, one, uh, tan 90 means we need to change the value which is cot. Change the trigonometric ratio so it becomes cot 30. But also the sign here is ta, uh, 90 plus theta. It lies in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant tan is negative. So minus cot 30. Minus cot 30 is minus root 3. So m is equal to minus root 3. We have found the value of m is equal to minus root 3. As the slope is same, m1 is equal to m2 is equal to minus root 3. So we have found the slope of these two lines which is same. So we know slope m is equal to minus root 3 and one point is 0 comma 2. For another equation slope m is equal to minus root 3 write the reason to be parallel and the point is 0 comma minus 2 so using a slope and a point formula that is equation of a straight line will be y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 same way y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 substitute the values here y minus y1 is 2 is equal to m is minus root 3 x is x and uh, x1 is 0. So here it becomes y minus 2 is equal to minus root 3 bringing root 3 x bringing to the side it becomes root 3 x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. This is the equation required for the first one for the second one y minus of minus 2 will become plus 2 is equal to minus root 3 into x minus 0. Now bringing to this side it becomes root 3 x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 is the equation. Second equation the line which is parallel. If you see this uh, equation see in the parallel equation remember that the x coefficient and the y coefficient will be the same only the constant term differs so seeing the, uh, this we can say we are written it correctly because here the x coefficient and the y coefficient are the same 
and the constant term varies. That's all with the sum. Thank you.